Dave, yeah. thank you very much. Hello, how are you? Um, good. Thanks. I know you've had uh, issues with that hamstring problem uh, of late. All good in that regard? Yeah, very good. Um, it was a minor a minor issue. Um, I think it was just a bit of fluid on the hamstrings. I think it's just, you know, with the workload of, you know, games, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, as you know, um, I think just a uh, slight fatigue. And, you know, with rest, I'm, I'm back in firing again. And obviously hoping to be back in the starting 11 on Thursday night. Yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I think, you know, the boys have been doing well. Um, but, yeah, I'm hoping to contribute in any way possible, you know, obviously. Um, every game is a, a big game, and this will be this will be our final test before um, the Euros qualif qualifiers um, for Germany. And uh, I want to be involved. Yes. Just on that, I mean, how important is it to go into those qualifiers on the back of you know two positive results and two positive performances this week? I think it's very important. I think um, you know for us, we don't see these friendlies as friendlies. We you know the, we see these, with these games as an opportunity to. To get our tactics right, especially when we go into you know the the big the big test come March, and you know we want to win this game and we want to win it the way you know playing the football that we want to play, and um, that's that's the main focus really. We're, we're going to take these two games very seriously. I'm sure everyone is very focused for these games, and I can see from training everyone's fighting to be involved. I know it's a long way off, but the uh, cabinet place signed off on a joint bid to stage uh, Euro 2028. Uh, obviously, in, in Ireland, I mean, to play in a tournament uh, sort of like that on home soil, I know it's a long way off, but what would that mean to you? Uh, mean a lot. I think it would mean a lot for the nation. I think um, you know, it would be a dream come true, really, to play in, that, in a big competition like that. And, you know, we hopefully, hopefully, we um, our voices will be heard in that, in that manner. But, you know, it means a lot for, for me, especially. Um, you know, we're all trying to qualify no matter what. And it won't take away uh, moving forward. We're gonna, you know, give our all for for March time to try to qualify for so for another big competition in Germany. But you know, to have it in home soil will be very special. Dave, please. So, you know, normally, maybe friendlies at this time of year, some players might not be too tuned in for it. But for yourself as well, just in terms of actually you may have a starting spot, maybe show as well. Kind of look up front that what you got to get further on to not so much prove but show what you can do. Yeah, I've, you know, from the first day I've been here, I've, you know, I've always said how privileged I am to be in this position, and you know, many players miss out, and I'm here, so we're all working so hard to be where we are today, and um, you never take this position for granted because I've seen players come here and you know not come back again, so you know, to be called upon is um, is obviously a huge honor for me, and I take. I take it serious every time I'm here, and that's why I work really hard, you know, to get my hamstring right, to to hopefully get an opportunity against Norway or Malta. You know, these caps mean a lot to me and my family, and you know, you know, we all want to be here, and you know, training especially today showed me how much players will put their bodies on the line to 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 be here and you know to be available. But that be in your mind in terms of that you've made impacts, starting scoring goals, and also off the bench, but other players maybe. <laughs> international football, yeah. International football is not, you know, not in, not in given, um, given easily, and you never take anything for granted. And um, you know, when I when I first came here, you know, players like Jamie McGrath, who's come back in now, you know, he had to sacrifice a lot, you know, um, and it takes a lot of ego as well. You know, he's dropped his ego to to go back to Scotland to prove himself, give himself more game time to come back here, and that's what it takes. And it didn't take a month; it took you know many months to get back here. So when I'm here, I, I you know I try to stay focused and, and push and give my all. Dennis Bowman, please. Because you're still relatively new to senior international football, what do you feel established in, that, in the squad in the team? Um, I don't want to say I feel established. You know, I've, uh, I still I'm very grateful for being where I am. First of all, um, I think um, I'm giving off an energy, and you know, I'm being a type of player that the team. Um, would like to have usually. I don't think I'm the main man. I think, um, you know, with my pace and power and my ability to stretch the pitch, I think it's something that, you know, the coaches like in me and uh, that's why they call upon me every time. And, I mean, uh, Scott Hogan and Will Keenan attacking with draw, that reduces the pull of attacking players. Is that something you relish the responsibility of, of trying to stretch the pitch and score the other side? Yeah, I think um, I relish the opportunity to be on the pitch first of all. You know, first of all, I think to be called upon is always a, a great honour. 
I think you know a player like Scott Hogan, you know, I I really like a lot. Um, I think he's a very you know natural born striker, very clinical finisher, and I analyse his game, trying to bring it into my game. But you know when he's not here, other players have to step up, and um, we all have to take the opportunity because as I said, you never know when you know what's going to happen in the future. Neil, okay. hi Joe. Hi, how are you? Good. You. Uh, your record today with Ireland and with Rotherham this season is basically one goal and three. Is that sort of something you think you can maintain or improve if you're if you're played central centrally over a period of time? I think it's something I really want to improve on. I think um, I looked at my stats and I don't I don't take enough shots per game, and um, you know maybe it's the style of play at, at Rotherham, but I want to improve that. And um, you know <laughs> I'm sure you'd be you would prefer me scoring you know two every every game, wouldn't you? So you know as a striker you wanna you wanna score more goals, you wanna contribute to the team even if assist or. You know, just be part of the you know build up and uh, just to be effective for the team, and that's what I've been working on. You know, I'm looking at my I watch obviously I watch my clips a lot, I'm trying to improve my movements because you know as a striker if you're not shooting, it's you know you're asking a lot for the team to to you know to score goals in another way. So that's a, that's an area I want to improve on. And in terms of looking at your stats and your movement, is that off your own bat or is sort of somebody directing you to do that? I think I look, at, you know, I look at I look at it off my own back, but I have coaches that can help me, give me some information, and we have the analysts. You know, if you need any information, you can ask them for anything, and they'll they'll help you. They'll sit down with you and you know go over things. How was how Evan was settled in this week? Sorry. How Evan Ferguson was settled in? Evan's doing very well. You know, I never realised how big it was actually when you see him in person. He's a big lad. You know, he's eager and he's um, very physical, and he works really hard. So I'm hoping for uh, for great things for him. Aiden, please. Yeah, you know, just to ask him about Evan, I think he's in the squad at 18, he's already played in Premier League. I think you're probably focusing in on 18, he's trying to get into the first team. Just for you, at 18, and looking at someone like Evan at that age now. It's credit to Evan. I think the abilities he has at 18, I, I, don't, even, I don't even think I had at 21. So that's a credit for him and you know how much he's worked hard and his ability to be here. And you know what I like about him, the way he's training. Obviously, he's grateful for where he is, but you know he's taking, he's you know he's taking his opportunity. He's not shying off tackles. You know he's getting stuck in. So I think that's going to play a big part for his career. So yeah, um, next week I'll have you know some downtime with my family. Um, so you know the managers have you know given me the permission to to have a couple of days off. Which I will take, and I'll go to I'll go to Paris with my girlfriend and enjoy some time there. Like a lot of talk with the game, a lot of ex players saying they're not going to watch because of all the noise on Qatar. Will you watch her? Do you do a part of that conflict as well? I, listen, I I love watching football. I will, you know, I will watch the football um, regardless of what happens. You know, I love to watch football because you can always learn from, you know, big nations, and you know, we want to be in that position come you know in a few years time so you need to watch what it takes to get there um, listen I'm not a politician I'm a footballer um, I, I just enjoy watching the game. John please. Keo, um, we're eight and a half minutes in haven't asked you a transfer speculation uh, for a change um, <laughs> but just has that, has that helped you in a way in terms of yeah. that was shut down fairly early in terms of you signing the contract? So what do you mean by that? It's like it, it, the, there's not that much speculation about you move whereas um, I think I was always focused from day one. Um, I was, you know, I was working with the club to make sure that we find a middle ground, and you know, they made it clear to me that they wanted me to stay. And I, you know, from day one, I, you know, I had my focus on Rotherham, and I think that's probably why, you know, I've started really well. You know, they give me the opportunity to play up top and change me from right wing back to a striker. So, um, no, I, you know. Obviously, there isn't much um, information in you know all the speculations and in the transfer window, but I, I was always focused from there. And just secondly, uh, I know I mentioned earlier, Paul Ryan last week, uh, Caps. I think you were born just after he finished with Ireland. Yeah. Growing up, you know, he was a real central for diversity, and that was he sold that. I think he's someone I, I read about. Um, you know, Paul is you know is a fantastic player, and credit to him to come out to come out and you know have that speech that he gave yesterday. And you get to know him more um, after meeting him yesterday. And I think you know he's a role model for everyone. I think he was a big role model for Keith Andrews. You know, I was I was, don't think I was born yet, or maybe I was over one. But when you read it, we read about his story. When you sit there and listen to him, it's it's a credit what he's done. Paul, please. Just wondering, your club manager has made a, a couple of comments about the League of Ireland. Did you, did you have a look at the 
I didn't really, I didn't read into that. I, I spoke to Georgie Kelly, and he gave me a quick debrief. I think, um, I think it's been, you know, um, taken out of context a bit. I think what he meant to say, you know, was, um, you know, he didn't, he didn't want to push Georgie too, too soon. And um, you know, it's obviously I know how the media can be turning things around, but I know he. I spoke to Georgie, and Georgie didn't take it to head. I think he, he was just trying to be as respectful as possible. But I know how fans can be in, in what they've said. I'm finally Philip. Yeah. Sorry, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy, how would you sum up the Irish national year? Um, you know, personal, you know, my personal point of view. I think it's been good. i you know, we're obviously disappointed that we, you know, we couldn't finish second in the table to give us that playoff spot. But um, you know, I think overall there's a lot of been improvements since I've been here. Anyway, I think. Um, so many players have come in, and then when you see players come in, you know we're not we're all not on on different wavelength. We're all in the same wavelength, and that's what we you know from day one when I came here, I could see what you know the gaffer wanted to implement in the team. And I think when new players come in, everyone buys into the culture and the style. And obviously we have you know players like Seamus Coleman who make sure that we're all focused throughout. So I think it's really good, and I think the improvements in the last year, especially from June last year when I came to now, is you know there's a big step, and I think um, I think we've involved really well. Are you excited about your partners? I'm very excited. Yes, I don't think I know. I'm not very fearful with the with the nations we've um, we've put put against, but uh, I think it will be a great test for us. I think you know as young players we all dream to play these kind of nations, and you know if we can if we can test ourselves, we know where we stand. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.